Hi, Bob the Canadian here. About a week ago, I asked my viewers to answer six questions about how they study the English language, and I thought all of you might be interested in the responses. I've taken all of the data and I've compiled it, and I'd like to share that with you today. But before we get started, if this is your first time here, don't forget to click that red subscribe button over there and give me a thumbs up if this video helps you learn just a little bit more English. The first question I asked was, how many English vocabulary words do you learn each week? And so from the information that I got from 985 people, by the way, I'm really happy that almost a thousand people decided to answer all six questions in the survey. But question one was about how many vocabulary words do you learn each week? If you look at the pie chart that I've put on the screen, you'll notice that 52.6% of you, over half of you, learn about 10 vocabulary words per week. 21.3% of you, if you look at the red, learn about 20 English vocabulary words per week. And if you look at the orange, 14.4% of you learn about 30 English vocabulary words per week. So what do I think about this? I think that learning 10 words per week is probably not enough words. I know half of you are learning 10 words per week, but I want to encourage you to kind of bump that up a little bit. If I take all of the data and if I average it out, if you look on the screen now, you'll see that the average English learner is learning about 22.44 words per week, which we should probably round down to 22. So that's probably a good amount. I would challenge you though, if you are learning 20 or 30 words a week, to maybe bump that up a bit. Try to get closer to 35 or 40 words per week. I think that will just help your overall progress over the next year. So anyways, when it comes to how many English vocabulary words are people learning per week, it looks like people are learning about 22. The second question I asked was, how many hours do you spend each week studying English? So in this question, I was saying, how many hours do you spend reading, writing, listening, speaking, learning vocabulary, learning grammar? Add it all up and tell me how many hours per week do you spend studying English? If you look at the pie chart that I've just put on the screen, you'll notice that the orange section on the bottom left says that 21.1% of you spend about five hours per week studying English. If you look at the red part of the pie chart to the right, you'll see that 16.6 .6 of you said that you spend about two hours a week studying English. And if you look at the top left, you'll see that 15.1% of the people who responded, of the 985 people, uh, spend about 10 hours per week studying English. I think that's probably the best number. I think if you can spend between five and 10 hours a week studying the English language, it will really help you. But let's combine all the data. If you look on the screen, you'll see that the average of everyone who responded is 9.94 hours per week of studying English. I think that's probably a good amount. If you can find a way to spend almost 10 hours per week studying the English language, I think your progress will just be awesome. The third question I asked is, which of the following is your favorite part of learning English? And if you look at the pie chart that I'm going to put on the screen, you'll notice that in the orange section, 61.7 of you said that listening uh, was your favorite thing to do when you were learning the English language. If you look at the top right where there is a green part to the pie chart, you'll see that 21.1% of you said that speaking was your favorite thing to do. You'll notice in the blue section, 14.2% of you said that reading was your favorite thing to do. And in the red, little tiny red part of the pie chart, which is actually 2.9%, 2.9% .9%, uh, of you said that writing was your favorite thing to do. So what do I think about this? I think the pie chart for you, no matter what your favorite thing to do, the pie chart should be spread equally or split equally into 25% in each quadrant. So even though most of you obviously love listening, you should be spending, as I've said many times, probably an equal amount of time listening, reading, writing, and speaking. So try to get your personal pie chart divided up evenly. The fourth question I asked was, do you have an English speaking partner? And this was an interesting result. I thought more of you would have English speaking partners than you did. If you look at the pie chart that I'm putting on the screen, you'll notice the red section, 74.8% of you do not have an English speaking partner. And if you look at the blue, 25.2% of you have an English speaking partner. So this is totally understandable. 
and it's not easy to fix. Um, having an English speaking partner usually costs money. I've suggested ways to try and do this for free. Find an exchange partner, someone who wants to learn your language while you're learning English from them. But generally, this, I guess, doesn't surprise me, but I wish it was easier for all of you to find an English speaking partner. So for the 25.2% of you who have an English speaking partner, that's awesome. For the 74.8% of you that don't, I really hope you find a way to find an English speaking partner in the future. I just hope you can. I know it's difficult, I know it's challenging, but I wish you all the best because it's very helpful. It's so helpful to have an English speaking partner. The fifth question I asked was, why are you learning English? And this to me is the question where I was the most interested in the results. I'm always curious to know why someone has chosen to learn the English language. If you look at the graph I'm putting up on the screen right now, you'll see that the number one response at just over 30% was, I'm learning English because I enjoy it. So that's really cool. I know some of you are close to retirement or you're just looking for a hobby and English is something you're learning just for fun. The second response at just under 20% was, I'm learning English so I can move to an English speaking country. The next response was, I'm learning English to get a job. The next response was, I'm learning English for my current job. And then I'm learning English so I can visit an English speaking country and then other. And then the last and smallest response was, my parents are making me learn English. So there's your results. I found them very interesting and very cool. I'm always curious though what other means. So if you have the time, if you were someone who responded other, can you let me know in the comments below why you are learning the English language? If, if it's not one of those top five or even that last one, just let me know uh, because I'm really curious to know why. The sixth question I asked was, do you like learning English grammar? This question wasn't originally going to be part of the survey, but I just sort of threw it on for fun at the end while I was making the survey form. And so I was really curious to see what the responses would be. If you look at the graph that I'm putting up on the screen, you'll see that overwhelmingly most people responded with five or higher. So to the left, if you said one, it means you don't like learning English grammar. And to the right, if you said 10, it means that you love learning English grammar. So I thought this was a very positive and cool response. You'll notice that most people responded with a five, a six, a seven, eight, or a 10. Uh, and in fact, 197 people or 20% of you uh, responded with a 10. So I thought that was pretty cool. It's cool to hear that a lot of you actually do like learning the English language. Well, hey, I'm Bob the Canadian. Thank you so much for watching kind of the results show for the survey I did last week. I teach English here on YouTube if you didn't know. If you are not subscribed, you should click that red button there and give me a thumbs up if this video helped you learn just a little bit more English. And if you have some time, why don't you stick around and watch another video.